Hi there, I'm Barbara Nicolato, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card free your inner creativity. The materials on your screen are all there, and just feel free to pause so that you can catch up and know what you're going to need. I'm going to start with Distress Oxides Milled Lavender, and I'm going to apply that to a multifarious sheet of paper, four and three eighths by six and three eighths inches. I'm not any particular in any particular way uh, putting it down. I'm just putting blobs here and there uh, with my first two colors. And then I can start blending in. Again, a light hand or a heavy hand doesn't really much matter because in the end, everything is going to be blended together anyway. Coming in with the chipped sapphire, I'm going to fill in some of the white areas. And then I'm going to go back to the lighter colors and bring everything together. Again, the end point is going to be when you're happy with the mix that you've created. I'm going to sprinkle some water droplets on top of this for a short time and dry them off with a paper towel just to give the effect of watercolor blotches. In my water pot, I've just put about a uh, teaspoon of water and I'm going to add Pearl X from Del Bello Studios into it and it's going to be oh maybe an eighth of a teaspoon oh, even less than an eighth of a teaspoon I just kind of eye it into this I'm going to add the mica gum by Sweet Poppy and then mix it all together I'm going to apply that to the front of my card with a brush and it's going to give a very beautiful brushed metallic look to the card. I'll hold this up to the light when I'm finished so that you can see the effect that the Pearl X has. It's going to be important to dry that before you try to stamp on it. And so I sped it up a bit, but I dried it and then I even let it sit there for a few moments to make sure that it was dry. Using my Misty, <coughs> I'm going to add another sheet of 4 and 3 eighths by 6 and 3 eighths inch multifarious paper. And using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne, I'm going to stamp the Tree of Wisdom, which is Lavinia 609. I'm going to apply pressure and then let it sit a little bit so that the ink can actually be absorbed into the paper. going to set that aside for a few moments and then I'm going to put my finished paper in the same position in the misty and I'm going to stamp the tree of wisdom again on this sheet using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink again. It's important that this be set aside to dry. I'm using a, a little tool here. It was actually the top, the glass top of a Yankee candle jar uh, filled with marbles. And uh, of course I put glitter inside too. And uh, I put some felt on the bottom. And I use this as a weight 
over my misty to make sure that the stamp is evenly stamped in all places. Now if you touch it, you're going to smudge and you're going to get ink on your fingers and wherever else you touch. So again, we have to make sure that this stamped image is thoroughly dry before we move on. Whether you do this with a heating tool or just set it aside and take a break for a few minutes, either way is fine. I'm going to trim this now and my goal is to have a middle piece of that tree that I'm going to use on the card. Then on each side of that middle piece I'm going to take away about an eighth of an inch of paper to leave a little space. That piece that you see right now, here's where I'm going to take away that little piece. So I'm going to actually end up making a little strip out of it, totaling a quarter of an inch. The larger strip left over, I'm going to set aside, and perhaps I could use it in making a tag later on. But the strip there on the right, that you see right now, that's the important piece that's going to go near the larger center strip. Here's where I'm going to cut off a, uh, an eighth of an inch just so that there's a space between my quarter inch strip and the main larger strip going down the middle of the card. I'm going to do the same thing on the right now. Okay, so this larger strip I'm going to put aside. That will be the main focal image in the card. Now I'm going to cut away an eighth of an inch. And this strip I'm just going to toss off. And now I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch from the remaining piece. And this is going to be used in the card. So the idea now is to take the larger strip and affix that to the card. I'm going to line up the branches and the twigs. I'm going to use art glitter, dries clear adhesive, but any glue that you normally use for card making would work just as well. Now the point of cutting and tossing aside that little eighth of an inch was so that I get this little space between the larger panel going down the middle and this smaller one. Again, I'm not going to glue this all the way down because after I have it in position, I'm actually going to remove part the bottom part of um, this little strip. I'm going to be using a razor blade and then I'm just going to tear off the part on the left.
I'm going to aim for approximately the middle of the card, um, like so. I'm going to repeat the same on the right side of the card. Except I'm going to glue from the bottom up. And when I get approximately to the middle, I'm going to decide where I'm going to cut off that little strip. I'm using the paper towel to press down in case um, I have ink on my fingers. I don't want to smudge the design. Now I'm going to use the Creativity stamp by Liv Lavinia, which is number 674. Free Your Inner Creativity is the sentiment, but I'm going to be using it in three different pieces. So first I'm going to stamp Free Your at the top. Get Being careful not to get ink on the letter of the next word. I'm going to make sure that I wipe that stamp clean and dry it so that it doesn't interfere or cause any smudges when I stamp the next word, which is inner. Now I've decided to make it easier to ink that I'm going to move the words free your a little bit off my stamping block so that I can hold that back while I ink up the third word I want to use, which is inner. Again, making sure that I don't get any ink on any letters of other words. Free your inner. Again, clean it well, dry it, and now I'm ready to stamp the last word, creativity. I've taken a Copic marker V17, V17, which is actually called amethyst. Using the chiseled edge, I'm going to carefully apply a little color to the edges of the card. This is actually going to make it look like I have a very thin mat underneath when I put it against a white paper. The white layer is layering weight paper six and five eighths by four and five eighths inches. And as you can see when I put the, <clears throat> the main canvas over it, you can see the purple line I made. The purple piece, which is going to be the base of the card, is actually five by seven inches, which is going to end up to be an A7 size card. If you choose to not use a white, and just put the main canvas over the 
lilac or purple paper, um, it's really not going to be necessary then to use marker along the edges of the paper. So I chose to do it this way. And then I thought it needed a little bit more, so I took the leaves from the Green Man Lavinia Stamp 458, and I used two of the oak leaves and stamped those over and underneath the word creativity. I also added that touch to the envelope, and uh, then this panel can actually be affixed to a white 5x7 card, or you could cut a larger piece of purple and just make a 5x7 card out of the purple lilac color. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much. Have a good one.